Hey guys, what's up? I'm back with another tutorial on in this video series on NLTK and in this video I'll be talking about how you can replace a lot of words using a word map that you can create custom create basically and using that you know you can uh, use a word replacer that will replace your uh, let's say your uh, words whatever informal words for example if you see over here there's birdie with B day with birthday and sup with what what's up of course this can be changed again to what's up as well so anyways uh let's get started so what we what you would like to do is go back to that uh replacer module i mean the custom module which we created in the previous uh videos so if you have not watched it i recommend that you go back uh to those videos and watch it so you know you'll get a gist if you have uh, if you're not interested in uh, regex replacer or repeat replacer and just directly want to do this what you can do is just uh, ignore these uh, things just uh, just you, you can ignore this as well just uh, and you can ignore re as well in fact you don't need to do anything uh, you don't need to write anything uh, whichever is whatever is uh, displayed over here so what you need to do is just uh, you know use i um, mean write these uh, lines so I, i'll explain how that how this can be constructed and what goes behind all this uh but i'll just show you quickly what is happening over here so let's say i have a word and i want to replace uh you know uh, that word with a more suitable more uh, you know generalized uh, um, synonym so what i can do is i can create a word replace uh, i mean i can create a word map something called a word map so i'll type it over here so this word map will help us uh you know in replacing things like you know this one informal ones into something more formal or whatever you would like to replace it it can be used for various reasons uh, i mean you can you know you can chalk out a lot of reasons uh, so you i mean anything you can just uh let's say you can even use it to replace a few set of words uh to some something else some of the foreign language or some created made up language like dothraki from game of thrones or klingon you know anyways uh so uh going further ahead uh what uh you would see over here is that from example replacer which is the module we just created and we have to put it up in uh python uh slash lib slash site packages so there's a folder in which you need to put this and when you put it up over there then you can directly access all these custom modules so you say from example replacer import word replacer and that is the class uh that is the name of the class we have given it will take an object so anyways uh what you say is this uh you know replacer is equal to word replacer but you will also submit uh, uh an object so that object i'll i'll show you how you can uh construct it so let me just write it uh over here so let's say let's call this uh word map object all right so this is that's it so this is done so we can just uh probably we can just style it a bit so you can add you can add a lot of things so let's say uh um let's say tmo stands for tomorrow uh i mean a few people i have seen uh, use that uh, if not tomorrow or something like that so you can keep adding a lot of entries all you need to do is you need to create an object and you need to, you need to feed that object into this uh, function so you need to give that uh, variable over here and that is because we have constructed uh, this class using the init with word map as uh, as an essential argument that means that uh, the word map uh, argument needs to be passed so that uh, this can store so whatever object is instantiated it can store it uh, as its own uh, you know object as in you know uh, whatever instantiate you can instantiate a lot of objects and it will store it as its own so that it can be used in further methods so for example you're using it here in the replace function so anyways uh, let's go forward so replacer is equal to word replacer and word map obj so after that what you need to do is uh, just uh, say a result is equal to replacer dot replace 
SUP or you can pass anything uh, whichever can fit into this so you will say print result and then let's see what happens all right you see that when I say model it's giving me tomorrow so how is it constructed so let's let's uh, analyze this a bit so it's it's quite simple so if you know classes it's pretty much simple you don't have to worry about that so you have a init with a self which is which can be called anything you can call this this as well but if you call it this you have to re uh, replace all these self uh, with this keywords so so when you instantiate it as i was saying the first argument in any kind of method including in it should be uh self you know itself so it has to refer back to itself so the first argument should always be that and the second argument should be uh, i mean second argument is of course optional in in it but uh, for other methods it is required because i mean it need not uh, i mean you don't need it over here as well you can have an, a method without any kind of argument so anyways, uh, so the second argument over here is the word map, which is nothing but this. It is taking this and it is telling the system, oh, okay, so I'll have to check this object, this word map, which will tell me what to, you know, replace things with. And the second uh, method is, I mean, uh, and in the first method, as I was saying, it will just take a uh, word map and it will it'll, it'll take word map and it assign to itself. I mean, its own, uh, you know, key, I mean, its own, what do you call, a key. I mean its own property so anyways uh go, going forward so in replace in the second uh, method uh it will take a word and then it will just uh, say return self dot word map dot get so if you know python variable you know that uh there is a get function uh get method which can be applied on an object a key value pair what it will do is it will just take a word and it, if it if it if it can find the words uh you know word in the key in the keys of the object so for example this is these are the keys while these are the values uh, birthday was up tomorrow the expansions are the values so it will just take it and it will return back that value and the second argument says is that i mean if at all i don't find it what should i return so you can leave this optional sometimes but uh, if you leave it then nothing is returned back so instead if you say word so what happens is if it doesn't find uh, any kind of key it will return the word itself so let's say i i say i say because i get because back so if i say coz cause i get cause back but if i add it over here now i build it yeah so now as you can see over here i'm passing cause and it is giving me because so this is simple so quite simple so that is how word replacer works so you can use it to construct a lot of uh, synonyms and you can get back the result and you can use it in this way so yeah so how you call it is dot replace and you pass in a word and then that is printed so i guess yes uh, so that's about it for this video but yeah one second so what you can also do is uh, you can uh, use it yeah uh, before that i'll just uh, like to show you that uh, as you can see over here it's it applies only on a word so you if you want to probe a certain sentence what you can do is you can construct a for loop first you need to tokenize our stuff so for that what you need to do is from uh, uh, from nltk dot uh, tokenize import word underscore tokenize all right so let's see if that works all right so it's working so i mean it is getting imported so what you need to do is you need to say uh vtalk is equal to word underscore tokenize so let's no no, no sorry this is not how it works so uh, uh, as you can as you remember in the previous videos i was uh, showing you how you can use word underscore tokenize directly it is not it is it does not require uh, anything so let's say uh when I mean, it does not require instantiating that's what i meant i was meaning to say so let's say i i create a second word uh, is equal to word underscore tokenize uh let's say this is awesome or something like that and let me just print it print sw and let's see what happens all right so this, this is getting tokenized as you can see
so what you can do is you can iterate among all each each of these uh, things so what you, what you can say is uh, so instead of printing sw so you can construct uh, anything so for word in sw uh, you know what you can do is uh, you can take this and paste it here All right, sorry about that. Uh, it, it is taking cause over here. So, all right. So I'm just getting, uh, yeah. So as you can see, I'm getting all of that. Uh, I just need to scroll it. Uh, there is, I had to scroll it and now I expanded it. So yeah, uh, so this is awesome. As you can see over here, it is getting, I mean, uh, the whole thing is being uh, returned back. So you can also return it back uh, using, uh, what do you call you can return i mean you can add back in the same line itself you can store it into a, a string and then you can append it so if you can do you, you can do a lot of things uh, so let's say uh because model is uh dead so you get back because tomorrow is dead right so how cool is that so you can uh, again form it as a string back again so that is pretty simple all you, all you have to do is instead of printing what you need to do is you have to append this this uh to the you know uh final let's say uh, let's call this third no no, no final uh, all right uh let's call it final uh, string f s p all right and let's uh let's just uh give it like this and what you can do is you can just say f s t plus is equal to uh, result and then after everything is done but oh, wait a sec you have to also give a space and then after everything's done mm, what you need to do is you can just say print fst all right so as you can see over here we are getting we are indeed getting everything but we are we are left with a space over here and if you don't care about that that's fine but a lot of people care about such spaces so what you can do is you can just write it over here a conditional which says uh you know uh that if this is the last word then you know skip the space and stuff like that so yeah so that's about this that's about it for this video guys i hope you understood and learned a lot and uh yeah that's about it for this video so i'll be i'll be back with another video on nltk as usual so stay tuned and uh, thanks a lot for watching also share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel